Hello, bonjour. So there is one concept that is a little bit obscure when you start Krita for the first time. It's the concept of dirty preset. And uh, if you don't know what it means, it means that when you select a brush preset here among the icon, for example, this one, and you trust something or this one, and suddenly you change the size, you'll see this little pen icon on the top left corner of the preset. So it works for all the presets. If you change anything, the opacity or something, you'll see this little pen and you can go on and go on and go on. So uh, in the Krita community, we call it a dirty preset. So it's a preset that is no longer acting like it was designed. And if you close Krita and reopen it, uh, you will lose all this transformation you make, the size, the opacity, or much more, uh, the preset will become clean again. Uh, so you might ask uh, if there is a way to clean them. And yes, you have here on the top an icon that is uh, like a little recycle or a washing machine, call it as you want. And it may, it's named a reload original preset. And if you select the preset, and click this icon, you can see the little pen disappear. So yeah, I can wash one by one. There is still no action to wash them all. And uh, if you want now to make a modification permanent, so I'm erasing this, for example, I take this brush and I will do a strong modification. So maybe the size, and I will go here to open the brush editor. You can see that I already trained a little bit. So you go to, for example, change the shape of the brush tip. And I'm selecting here this little heart. So now when I paint with this brush, you can see that it's a little heart. So I make it, be, make it much bigger. So definitely this preset is now really dirty. It's not this preset anymore. It changed a lot. So how do I save this and make it permanent? So you go to the brush editor and you do save new brush preset. And here you have a little editor where you can customize the appearance of your preset. So uh, what I like to do is load from icon library here and I select a pictogram of the tool. For example, this one, I will put the saturation and change the hue. So it's pink. That will fit very well for my little heart brush. And I will name it just with another name. So basic to heart and save. And now when I close, you can see that I have both brush. So this one, will still have the heart because it's dirty. You can see the little pencil. And thanks to this little pencil, we can see that. So I can clean it. So now it reacts like the original one. And now I have my derivation, my own brush preset. So I hope you learned a lot of new things about brush presets, dirty preset, and how to save your own brush preset. And if you like it, this video, feel free to thumbs up. It helps the algorithm, it helps to discover the channel and uh, see you later. Bye bye.